Hey guys, uh, Andrew here. I'm going to talk a little bit about passive house wall systems and what COVID's actually done to the passive house wall system as far as price, availability and time to build. And all of this information I think will be really handy for your customer so that they're forewarned that you know the cost associated could be different according to the different types of wall systems you use. So let's have a quick look at that. So the first wall type I'm going to show you is actually CLT. It has a eye joist in between, which is basically a plate, a plate, and in this case, a chipboard, but it could be ply. And basically, it's a very solid wall structure. It's more for the high end. It's not affordable. Uh, it'd be for high end residential, very high end residential, or it would be for high end um, commercial construction. There would be, you know, probably not going to be the most used system, but a very good one. However, a cheaper system would probably be, you know, something along the lines of, of say, uh, this, which would be uh, a standard stud frame. And the advantage of this with COVID is, is that you can get this material readily available. So you could have insulation inside of the stud. You can have your air barrier around here, tape it off. You can basically build the whole house. And then if you had to use an engineered timber, you could use an engineered timber between here and here and bulk insulation afterwards. It's kind of a, a bit tough. We also then have, you know, uh, this system over here, which is basically our studs are wider. Therefore, you can get, you know, uh, 300 mil or 12 inches of, of insulation between your studs and your, your battens or your packers. You would have your air barrier between your packer and your stud. You could also have another one on the outside here uh, for your condensation, and then you could put your cladding straight on top. That would be a solution that could be prefabricated. This could be prefabricated. This would be prefabricated, but the problem is, is that COVID uh, has created issues with shipping. So therefore, uh, it would need to be low. You'd need to have a local CLT factory, and you would also need to have access to engineered products so that you could actually, you know, go ahead and build the house efficiently, make it watertight, and then go back and add your insulation as the project moved along. The tip is for the builder to ensure that you get your purchase orders in early and get these things ordered early, um, you know, maybe even you know, before uh, the slab goes down. This is another system here, which is essentially stud frame, insulation inside of it, solid insulation on the outside, and then a cavity brick. And you know what, it's probably not ideal. Uh, you could just have a cavity between the insulation and here, but it's probably not the ideal uh, solution but it can be done and if you add in a window, you'll see how all this works. You do create a few uh, issues with it, um, with thermal bridging and so on, with sills and so on. You then could also have a stud frame with insulation inside of it. You could have a solid insulation on the outside of it, uh, like a high density foam, and then a cladding on the outside of that. There's a couple of issues with thermal bridging, for instance, fixing through uh, here to here, which is an issue, but you could have another batten on the outside of, of here and then fixed to that. It can be, uh, there are multiple solutions, but the I think with COVID in February 2021, which is the time I'm making this video, materials are hard to get. And I'm being told that uh, LVL and some engineer products have got an eight to 10 week wait. So you know what, that's kind of a lot and difficult to organize from a builder's perspective. Also, the cost of materials has gone up substantially in the last two months due to the demand and the demand was caused simply by the industry was really, really busy, and then everything had to stop due to COVID. We had a backlog of houses come in at the same time as builders or uh, reduce the price of their housing. So basically what happened is we've now got in Australia a, a glut of work that's come through in one go, and therefore materials are hard to get. Um, materials uh, are going to take longer to get, and they're more expensive due to the shipping, which is caused by COVID. So I hope that helps you understand and, and maybe even helps you decide which type of system that you would use to ensure that the project can go along smoothly, keep within a budget of a client and also um, enable it to be performed the way that, that you have designed it to do. Now guys, we're not um, passive hours experts, but you know we've got a pretty good understanding of how it all goes together and how the industry is running at this current time. So I hope it helps you out. Guys, if you like the video, push like. If you dislike the video, push dislike and tell us why in the comments below. Or if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. I hope it helps out, guys. And, uh, and we look forward to seeing you in our next uh, help video, which will go into flaws and so on. Cheers.